and we'll be going towards our next uh, speaker. Uh, our, next, our next speaker is going to be uh, Mr. Hassan Al Safi. Uh, Mr. Hassan, he will be talking about analysis of security and privacy for smart grid applications on cloud computing. Uh, if I, if you would allow me just to uh, introduce Mr. Hassan. Uh, he, Mr. Hassan, he, he holds a, a bachelor degree in computer science from uh, International Islamic University, Malaysia. Uh, he's having 10 years of experience in various uh, industrial sectors where his contribution is noticeable. Apart from that, he is noted as an active scholar whose research focuses in areas related to computer science. Also, he has a number of, applica of applications and served as technical reviewer, as well as editorial committee member of several scientific publications. Mr. Hassan, please proceed. We have 20 minutes from now. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, uh, good afternoon, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I would like to take this uh, opportunity to thank the Arab ICT virtual forum that is happening this year. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, um, we are connected through the video conference. And um, I, will, I will be sharing my screen now. Uh, did you share the screen? Uh, I cannot see yes, it. Yes, uh, yeah, I'm, I share the screen right now. So can you can you see my screen now? Yes, it, yes, it, yes. It is now. It is on now. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, um, um, uh, thank you, Engineer Rahiam, for uh, moderating this session. And uh, I would like to extend my thanks also for Her Excellency, uh, Engineer Maryam, for, uh, for, for the great event we, have, we are having today. Um, the, the topic that I will be discussing today is about the analysis of security and privacy for the smart grid application on the cloud computing. So this research is based on the survey that was conducted by me, and uh, I will be uh, going through the slides now. Uh, the first slide I will I would like to outline my uh, my presentation. Uh, the first point I will be discussing about the motivation and the introduction, and we will go through uh, a brief overview of the smart grid and the overview of the cloud computing technology in general. And uh, we I will also discussing about the cloud technology framework integration for the smart grid application and the objective that achieved in this project and the conclusion. Okay, the motivation, the, 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 the point that drives me to start doing this research is um, the, the motivation that takes me to start doing this research um, is, is, is why the cloud computing and the smart grids are, 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 are the hottest, hottest buzzwords in the current decades. And also the application of the smart, smart grids on the cloud technology that, that are changing the world changing the world and finally the research on the th on this theme would help achieve the sustainability as well okay the challenge the challenge that um, i will be talking about is can the smart grid and the cloud technology work together or it can it, uh, can be integrated the answer is based in the research yes what are the primary the challenge that uh, when it comes to the integrating these two different technology? Uh, the first challenge, the, the first challenge in the integration part is the security in terms of the data confidentiality and the integrity as well as the availability and also the maturity and the privacy. The key words here is the privacy, which which I will be elaborating in more in more details in the presentation. Okay, um, as you can see in the screen, this is the overview of the traditional electric power grid. 
we can see we have the bulk generation and we have the transmission and distribution under one schema. And then this all is controlled by the operation control and the customer finally received the, 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 the surface. Okay, the overview of the smart grid definition, it's, it's, it's the next generation of the power grid, which is based on the evaluation communication network infrastructure that integrated into the power grid enhancing and automated the power management platform. So the, the communication network should meet some specification as following the uh, should be a flexible should be flexible and should be resilience and scalability and cost effectiveness and interaction of the participant entity therefore the name of the smart grid is entitled to the next generation of the power distribution network gentlemen just allow me to share with you this small video about the smart grid Thank you, gentlemen, for watching. Um, now the next slide will, will, will explain about the smart grid taxonomy and overview. Uh, the smart grid is consists of two components, uh, the existing power grids plus the communication intelligence and automation. These two parts will, will enable us to come to, come to the smart grid uh, technology, or it will show us the, 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 the use of the smart grid. Um, next, this slide will, will, will give you an uh, insight about the overview of the smart grid, smart grid as a high level. As we can see, the, 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 the smart grid is consists of multiple components. It com consists of the HAN, which is the home area network, and the meter line, and the WAN, and the enterprise, and external. Um, more discussion will come in the next slides. Um, the smart grid conceptual model, as you can see here, it consists also of a multiple entities that contribute to the connection. Uh, we have the market, we have the operation, we have the uh, service provider and the customer and the distribution and the transmission and the bulk generator. These all entities need to be connected 
connect through the secure communication interface, which I will be discussing in more details about the, about the privacy when we move to the cloud computing integration with the smart grid. Okay, the main component that consists of the smart grid uh, is the electrical the electric electricity generations the transmission and the distribution and the contribution and operation and finally the end user application um the the smart grid it has a multi tier of architecture so briefly this slide shows us the the three the three component of the multi tier which is the distribution layer the metering and the consumer the distribution as you can see here it's a wide area network connecting all the the the, the meters with each others the metering which is the neighborhood area network and finally is the consumer where we are consuming the 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 the, the smart grid uh, application. Um, this table just briefly gives you the overall uh, comparison of the electrical power grid as exists uh, today plus versus the smart grid. So in terms of the equipment, the traditional electrical power grid, it has the mostly the electromechanical, whereas in the smart grid, it, it is the digital in nature. Information flow and communication for the traditional electric electric power grid is one-way communication, while, while on the smart grid is a two-way of communication. And uh, the, the sensors, let me just go uh, quickly through the comparison. The sensors is the few sensors cons com com consisting of the uh, existing in the traditional electrical power whereas in the smart grid is 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 a sensor throughout it, it comes com compromise of a multiple sensors and uh, the customer preferences is for the traditional electrical power grid is few customer choice while is the smart grid is many customer choice okay the, um, the the previous uh, conceptual model which i have discussed before um, it, 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 it consists, uh, it's included in the National Institute of Standards and Technology, which is NIST, it's, uh, it's, uh, the Smart Grid Conceptual Model. model. So the domain, the, the customer, who is the customer? We would like to know the domain elaboration. The customer is the end user of the, electric, of the electricity. The market, who is the market? The market is the operator and the participant in the electric, electric city, uh, ma uh, electricity markets. The service provider is the company who is providing the service. The operation is the manager of the movement of the electric city. The bulk generation is the generator of the electrical city in the electric city in the bulk uh, quantities. And the transmission is the carriers of the bulk electrical city over the long distance. And finally, the distribution is the distributor of the electrical city to the to to and uh, to and from the customer. Okay, uh, now moving moving forward. What are the key benefits when we when we when we move to the smart grid technology? What are the benefits that I will be uh, receiving from this te new technology? Uh, the, the energy efficiency and the demand management by the utilities and user control. I will have more uh, more uh, more ability to control my uh, my energy consumption. Quicker response to the electricity outage and real-time pricing for the electricity and the integration of the clean energy technologies. Okay, in order to achieve the smart grid, uh, smart grid technology, we have to have the, uh, crucial elements in this uh, in, in, in this uh, technology, which is three parties, which is the government and the companies and the customer. These three needs to work together in order to achieve uh, to achieve the smart grid uh, application uh, objectives. Okay, uh, in, in the smart grid, we have two 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 two. two two parameter or two functions, functionalities, which is the AMR, the automatic meter reading and the advanced metering infrastructure. Uh, the, for each one, it has different uh, features and the type of data that is, that is carried for the, the technology. Okay, now we will go through the end user application. When we discuss about the smart grid, what are the end user application that, uh, that will be receiving from this surface? The advanced metering infrastructure, the end user will be entitled for the tools. He will receive the tools to monitor and analyze his energy usage and the features. The feature are the smart meters, data management software, data storage. We will have a data application and home area networks. Okay, 
Now we will go to the privacy. I have discussed all the concerns in, in, in general about the smart grid and what are the privacy that, in, that is, exists in the end user application. Information on the energy use will be collected from the home. Okay, the information will be collected from the home and during this collection of information, uh, the, 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 uh, there will be some kind of, uh, some kind of uh, attack could happen during the transmission. Data will be potentially gathered at every short 15 minutes. Load signature could potentially indicate when the home or whether you are cooking or watching or uh, watching a TV or using other electrical device. Okay, the possible security attack in the smart grid. Attacker, uh, this is just an example I have uh, written in the slides. Uh, the, is, is the first one is the attacker may use the energy, the entry point as physically unprotected. A wireless network may be vulnerable for a man in the middle attack. It's a well known of uh, security uh, methodology. Uh, there may be a weaknesses on the preventing unauthorized communication. A vulnerable application can be easily attacked no significant risk currently, but the risk grow as the deployment of the smart grid grows. Okay, uh, the classification of the cyber attack, we have three types of classification, component-wise, we have a protocol-wise, and we have a technology-wise. This will be elaborated in more uh, details in the coming slide. Okay, um, as you can see here, this is the component-wise attack. How the attack happened on the component-wise attack? You excuse me, just five minutes more, please. Sure. You have five sure. yeah. Okay, the component-wise component, component -wise attack, it happens by an attacker send an email to the operator. And this email passed through all the, the other devices connected in the network. So once the, the admin received the malware, he, he will be, he will be, uh, he will be uh, circulated or he will be isolated by the virus or the malware. Okay, the second one, once the, 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 the admin has been uh, hijacked, there will, there, will, there will be ability to perform ARP scan for the other devices connected. And finally, the complete network will be, uh, it will be uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, compromised by using a, a kind of technology, uh, using the SQL execution, for example. Okay, um, this is the, briefly about the consequences of the cyber attack. Uh, briefly, I mentioned it here, the component-wise, protocol-wise, and the topology-wise. Uh, attack methodology, there is two types of attack, a physical attack and the cyber attacks. Uh, privacy in the smart meter, um, briefly, it's energy use information for storing the meter, and that uh, that could be uh, compromised later on. Um, the security and the information transmission, we have two types uh, of malicious attack that could happen, is a network availability and data integrity. Um, now we'll move to the cloud computing. Briefly, cloud computing is the general ter term used to describe a new class of network based on the computing. Um, this is the cloud architecture, which is well known. We have the surface, uh, we, ha we, have the, uh, we have the platform as a surface, we have the infrastructure as a surface, we have the software as a surface. Uh, this is briefly again about the characteristic of the common characteristic of the cloud computing, a massive scale. We have the service orientation, low cost software, essential characteristic is the on-demand services and so on. Uh, this is again uh, the surface mod uh, model. The cloud computing, is the cloud more secure? This is the question that we have to ask ourselves before we move to the cloud. Can we trust the cloud? Can I afford not to? Okay, uh, now the integration of the smart grid cloud platform, uh, the integration of the cloud, uh, of, of the smart grid within the cloud computing, it comes through the management layer and the information layer. And we have the energy layer where is we are consuming the electricity and this is will be integrated together. Um, the smart grid application on the cloud technology, uh, we will have the smart meter application that is uh, getting the, da the data and the information from the each device, each node connected in the, in the, on, the, on the home or in the industrial area. Um, the framework analysis, we have a three major user rule in the smart grid ecosystem, the consumer utilities and the trade party services uh, requirement. There will be a high requirement for a privacy and security. And um, the analysis of the user characteristic as a consumer, we have a three different uh, party, which is the residential and the commercial and the industry. 
uh, and uh, the residential is a limited access may be provided by the utility and directly control their appliance and the vulnerability commercial when you grow with the with the consumption there will be uh, a willing to pay more than the residential industry is like the commercial but in large scale um, so analysis of the user characteristic let me just go through the, the summary. Uh, this is a taxonomy analysis of the user characteristic when it comes to the user and role involved for each parties on the smart grid uh, technology. The utilities, they will be responsible for, they have to be responsible for the data leakage, data modification, data platform sharing. The consumer, uh, the consumer could be the residential, industrial, and uh, commercial. The data leakage as well, it's, 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 it's part of the consumer. The third party service provider, uh, it's, in, it's include the internal algorithms and data, the access diversity as well. Um, let me go through the summary quickly here. Um, uh, this is the summary of the uh, taxonomy analysis of the data characteristic. As, as, as I mentioned before, the data characteristic and the security privacy issues, it has uh, four five uh, component, the data diversity and the data graduality and the data transformation and the data access sharing and the data archival. So each one has his own uh, characteristic of consideration while we are doing the integration. Um, conclusion. Uh, a smart grid is basically the modernizing of the electrical system, which, uh, which the new age of information technology, smart grids allow the new use of the electrical grid that extract the benefits of more component operation. We have investigated in this research, the security and the privacy concern when we integrated in the cloud uh, computing, we classify uh, various factors and user role that contribute to the cloud security. We organize the known security concern in the cloud from the smart grid application. We expect the outcomes of this research to guide both the researcher and the, the researchers and the developers in building a secure and a privacy smart grid application. Finally, I would like to thank uh, the Arab ICT forum for sending, uh, sending us the VIB invitation and sending us the invitation to participate in this great event. And uh, a big thanks goes also to the organizer and the sponsor, uh, the Bahrain Society of Engineers, the Federation of uh, Arab Engineers, as well as the Platinum sponsor and the technical sponsor. And finally, I would like to share with you my book that is that was published in this uh, subject about the security issues for the smart grid application on cloud computing. And uh, this is a brief about me. Uh, my email and my LinkedIn and my telephone email is there. This is the references. The references, references and thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much, uh, Hassan, for uh, such an informative presentation. I really uh, enjoyed uh, going through each and every slide. Um, uh, I'm looking if there is any uh, questions coming your side uh, until we see any question. Uh, just uh, one question from me. Um, uh, knowing uh, uh, how critical uh, electricity is for our uh, daily life uh, and uh, thinking about some critical applications like uh, hospitals, uh, considering the uh, cyber attacks and how vulnerable a uh, smart grid can be, do you see uh, smart grids, um, you know, uh, resilient and and uh, reliable enough to uh, to rely i mean for critical uh, activities like uh, financial services banks hospitals uh, security things as such okay uh, thank you so much uh, engineer Hiam, for such a great question um, when it comes to the smart grid, as uh, as 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 as, as uh, designing the smart grid itself, uh, the security security um, layers need to be uh, considered in the first place. So as 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 the pandemic and as we are working uh, or as we are depending hundred percent nowadays on technology, the security is one of the key elements that need to be considered during the design of any system, any critical system as the as the smart grid. And uh, I believe uh, having a multiple layers instead of instead of designing one layers, it could help 
to protect our system from any attacks that that could happen. Okay, thank you very much. There is a question from Dr. Gahtan Aziz. He's asking, has this technology applied in KSA or this is just in EU? Uh, what are the security protocols to prevent the attacks on the smart grid? Okay, uh, thank you, Dr. Gahtan, for such question. Um, the smart grid technology it it has been est established in Saudi Arabia since uh, since since a quite long time, but uh, nowadays it's becoming one of the key part of uh, of the implementation from the Saudi government. And um, we can I can notice is the implementation of uh, or or the transformation from the old system of billing is has been changed to the new system of the smart grid where it's connected directly to the to, to, to the government or to the electricity uh, entity to collect your data consumption and you will receive the bill based on your consumption and uh, yes it has been uh, deployed and implemented and uh, as I mentioned in the presentation it's uh, as soon as new technology is growing in the market we have to think about uh, we have to consider as well the security uh, perspective of this kind of uh, technology we have to build a very solid system of technology of, of security to secure our uh, our in, our uh, our our techno our systems from any attack uh, um, could happen well thank you very much uh, mr hassan for uh such a remarkable presentation wish you a pleasant uh, afternoon and thank you for being with us uh, and hopefully next year uh, we'll see you in a physical uh, event rather than uh, virtual thank you yeah thank you Bye -bye.